guys, I am at Leamington Spa Station waiting for my train to London Marlebone. Um, I have about 10 minutes before um, the train comes. There's going to be one train before mine, so I thought I would videotape a little bit and vlog. Uh, I just learned um, this thing called um, a rail card, and the gentleman at the ticket office was like, Do you have a rail card? What is it? Is it the oyster card? And I showed him my oyster card. He's like, no. <laughs> um, but apparently, if you're between 15 to 29 um, and over 60, you get a real card. And I said I wasn't. And he was like, well, I guess you'll have to wait until you're 60 then. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was kind of funny. Um, I am. <sighs> Train's coming. Not mine. But yeah, anyways, I'm headed to London. I found an Airbnb at Seven Dials. I'm really excited about it because I've fallen in love with that area. It's near Covent Garden. I think the guy who owns the flat or apartment um, works at BBC because um, he told me to go there to pick up the keys because he's at work. So that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, Airbnb is fun. I really love it. Um, I think it's a really great way to find affordable um, accommodation but also it's different from hotels because it's not necessarily right in the center of a touristy spot. It can be. Um, like my place today is, is you know essentially kind of a touristy spot but it's fun because you can choose to stay at residential neighborhoods and really get a, a feel for actually living at a place and you get some interaction with a local person um, who can recommend you some stuff. But um, yeah, I've, I've used Airbnb um, several times now. I've used it in Canada, I've used it a few times in California. Um, this is my second time I'm using it in London and it's all been really good. It's been really cool. Um, yesterday I was even looking at um, penthouse. Uh, I was googling penthouse London and you find quite a bit for just like under $200 a night, you know, like $100, $150. Um, but at the same time, there was a few sketchy ones as well, which was really hilarious. I found one um, near Marlebone Station for a 74 a night, um, but it said it was a shared room and the photo was essentially like a futon or air mattress on the floor, which looked like a laundry mat laundromat room or something and it says it's a shared room so I don't know if you're sleeping on the floor right next to someone else but yeah it's kind of funny um, but yeah I love Airbnb so I think I'll keep using it um, when I can because um, I do enjoy it um, I do enjoy meeting people and exploring different neighborhoods so I highly recommend it um, for any, anyone who is traveling but uh, that's about it heading out I'm looking forward to it.
just arrived at the Airbnb place in Seven Dials and oh my gosh if you ever come to London totally recommend this place although um, I did meet the guy Kenny and he said I really looked out because um, it's been really busy he's been doing Airbnb for two and a half month uh, years I mean two and a half years and he's been pretty much booked between like 25 to 30 days of the month um, which is all the time um, but I don't blame him because he's literally in prime location and look at this room it's like perfect for the traveler tourist who just wants a room I think the bed's big that's my stuff it's a little fridge with complimentary drinks a huge closet that's me um, tea you have a little TV here um, and then you have your own bathroom like this is perfect right I think it's amazing so big and but just seriously the location is this what you can't get over um, and it's you know walking distance from Oxford Circus which is where I just was to pick up the keys um, the guy works at BBC so I got to actually go see BBC which was really cool I felt like I was stepping into the UN or something because there's just so many people from around the world it was rustling bustling well you, you saw a little bit of it but I just love the energy I love the location um, and so I met up with Kenny he handed me the keys and here I am. I walk, It was like a 20 minute walk and it was through all the cool bars and um, restaurants and stuff. So so it was really neat. I really, really love it. Um, but anyways, I think he even um, left a folder um, with like all this stuff, places to go, really organized. Um, it's really cute actually. He has like comments for each place. Like this one is called Covent Guard Garden Pizza. And this is Kenny and he says, "Tourist Nirvana or Hell, your choice, but it's got to be seen. Hosts one of the world's largest Apple stores for lovers of crippled overpriced tech," said the Android programmer. So yeah, he's um he actually develops um, apps for BBC apparently, which is what he was telling me. But I think it's really funny. Wow, he just like put so much effort into it. It's so cool. Um, Buckingham Palace. Let's see what he says. He says, um, you know Lizzie's home. If the royal standard flags flying above the palace, if it's the Union Jack, she's probably off on a jolly at our expense, and changing of the guard is rubbish. Don't do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, I love it. I want to see what he says about Tesco Metro. He says... Um, one of the largest supermarket chain. One in seven pounds spent on anything at all in the UK is spent at Tesco. There are 37 branches within two miles of the apartment, but I much prefer Marks and Spencers. <laughs> mm. Okay. Amazing, that's so funny. Oh, okay, this is, I was curious about this. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to videotape it, so I didn't. But there's a slot machine in the hallway, and it says, The bandit in the hallway does work. It will very happily swallow your coins and notes, and it can and does pay out 200 pounds in cash. If you want to play it with my money, and of course, return any winnings to me, let me know. If you play it with your money, you can keep any winnings, and whilst it's technically illegal for you to play it, I'm not going to report you. Feel free to power it on. Flick the switch by the floor behind the door. Are you serious? That's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you now. It's this thing. Deal or no deal? 
How funny is that? I might have to turn it on later. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really excited. Gonna head off and go hunt for the J Japanese embassy now. So, wish me luck. <laughs>